I'm pretty sure the Steam Deck may have just reignited my excitement for gaming, but before I get too ahead of myself, let's talk about my first impressions after using it for about three days. What is up guys, my name is Tyler, and today we're looking at the Steam Deck. Now that you can easily get your hands on one, I decided it was time I picked one up for myself to see if it was worth my time. And well, speaking of time, let me save you some by saying yes. Yes it is. And I'm gonna tell you why. Now, let's get some things out of the way. Obviously, the Steam Deck is for those who wanna play their Steam library on the go. It reminds me a ton of the era where we used to carry our PSPs around to our friend's house and play games together. And that's kind of what excites me about it, but more on that later. The other thing to mention is the elephant in the room, the Nintendo Switch, arguably the most popular handheld gaming system to date. And I'm sure most of you wanna know, is the Steam Deck better than the Switch? In my opinion, the Switch is a different kind of handheld for a totally different audience, and for the purposes of this video, I won't be comparing it to the Steam Deck. However, that topic is probably worth its own video, so let me know in the comments if you'd be interested in that. Moving on to the deck itself, at first glance you'll probably think what just about everybody thinks when they see it for the first time. It's a big Nintendo Switch. However, holding the Steam Deck for the first time is an entirely different experience. The ergonomics are surprisingly comfortable given its size and weight. It's easy to hold and relatively comfortable for hours while beating ass in God of War. Highly recommend, by the way. The hand grips feel like they were made with adult hands in mind with deep palm rests and real joysticks. The only thing about the ergonomics that threw me off initially are the four paddle-like or grip buttons on the bottom. I can't seem to find a comfortable resting place for my fingers where the bottoms line up where I want them to, so I tend not to use those buttons often, but boy do they have the most satisfying sound. The deck is made with a solid matte black plastic with some light gray accents on the joysticks, which is expected. It only comes in black, but it would be cool to see some limited editions or new colorways in the future. For now though, you can always toss on a dbrand skin, which reminds me, I did order dbrand's Project Kill Switch case and travel accessories. It won't be here until 2023, so make sure to subscribe to see the review when it shows up. But let's talk about the control layout and the screen. The deck has a 1280 by 800 IPS LCD display, making it perfect not only for gaming, but for other things too, like watching my most recent video. It's seven inches and has a 400 nit brightness, which I found to be perfect for indoor gaming. TBD on outdoor gaming, but I think it's safe to say most of us will still be gaming indoors. Likely in bed, because let's be real, that's the reason you bought a Steam Deck in the first place. The control layout is exactly as you'd expect. This is good. Everything is where it should be, and all the buttons are honestly perfect. It feels like using the Xbox Elite controller, and I love it. Now there's one super unique quirk about the Steam Deck. It has two trackpads. Yes, two, like the one on your laptop. Why? Because the Steam Deck is also a computer, so those trackpads come in handy when scrolling or using a cursor in desktop mode or in games that need a cursor. I'm happy to report that these are super nice to use. They universally click wherever you press like a MacBook trackpad and have adjustable hap haptics, which really added the experience overall but more on those in the full review. Okay, back to what I was saying before. The Steam Deck has quite literally reignited my excitement for gaming, even in the short time that I've had it. I personally haven't been this excited about a handheld gaming device since the original PSP, and even though I've only used the Steam Deck for a few days, I'm already so impressed by what I've seen so far. It gives you the unrelenting freedom to play any game you have in your library, anywhere you want. Not to mention built-in Steam Link, so you can stream your more intense games from your gaming PC right to your Steam Deck, saving power and reducing heat, letting you game for longer. It's amazing. I also love that the Steam Deck encourages you to spend more time with your friends by letting you bring your favorite games with you. This is important to me as I grew up in an age where I hardly play my games alone. I would rush over to my friend's house anytime I could so we could play together in the same room even if we weren't playing the same game. The Steam Deck lets me relive that but with the games me and my friends play today, which I can't begin to say how nostalgic that is. If you know, you know. Nothing beats heading over to your friend's house, sitting on the couch, and gaming while watching shows or movies until 4 a.m. It's really an awesome time that I just can't get by playing games online. But that's gonna be it for now. If you enjoyed this video and wanna see a full review, make sure to hit the like button, and as always, subscribe to see more content like this. Also make sure to follow me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram to stay up to date on all things 24 Concept. Until then, see you in the next one. Peace. Look at this.